February 2nd, 1653, Amsterdam is incorporated as a city. The name would later be changed to New York City. 1852, the first public flushing toilet is opened in London. 1876, the National League, the oldest existing major league professional baseball organization in the United States, began play as the National League of Professional Baseball Clubs. 1887, the first Groundhog Day is held in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. 1925, the dog sleds reach Nome with emergency diphtheria serum. That's right, the 1925 serum run to Nome, also known as the Great Race of Mercy, and the serum run was a transport of diphtheria and a toxin by dog sled relay across the U.S. territory of Alaska. The race was ran by 20 mushers and about 150 dog sleds across 674 miles in five and a half days. Their actions saved the small town of Nome and the surrounding communities. You may have heard about this event in movies like Balto and Togo. 1954, President Eisenhower announces the detonation of the world's first thermonuclear weapon, the hydrogen bomb, on Inuatat in the Pacific. The test gave the United States a short-lived advantage in the nuclear arms race with the Soviet Union. 1964, Hasbro releases the original 12-inch G.I. Joe action figure. 1967, Roy Disney held a Walt Disney World construction press conference at a theater in Winter Park, Florida. Here he would view Walt's last movie, a proposal for a prototype city of tomorrow. 1970, Pete Maravich becomes the first to score 3,000 college basketball points. 1999, Disney's animated feature Milan is released on home video. 2006, Disneyland and Disney World begin renovations on the Pirates of the Caribbean attractions to include elements from the movies that were initially based on the rides. If February 2nd is your birthday, you share your birthday with actress and artist Farrah Fawcett, who was born in 1947. Actor, comedian, and musician Brent Spiner, who was born in 1949. Singer and songwriter and dancer Shakira, who was born in 1977. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, February 2nd in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.